vault authentication methods if i go to the google search for a vault certified associate and you will end up in the ashikarp link scroll down so exam objective point of view the first section is compare authentication methods describe authentication methods choose an authentication method based on use so first we'll understand the what are the authentication methods so this one so as we have seen in the previous lectures what is a vault architecture will have a core engine and which will have a storage layer where you can add a internal storage and as well as a cloud based or any rdbms or any other storage and second is a secret engine where you can store variety of secrets in the vault of course vault is a secret storage engine so where key value database and all kind of secrets and the other one is authentication and policy layer where you can log into the vault server with all this variety of authentication methods with the policies policies are for authorization point of view and also vault provides a audit as well where you can audit of the secrets who accessed who modified and all these things so this is a very very high level and this is a one single vault system this is a typical uh, now authentication method types so if you go to the vault which is vault project dot io and here auth method so if you expand auth method so these are the auth methods all are here right so right from overview app role to right from username password so if you look at here so app role to username password these are the authentication methods means i have a vault server up and running which is unsealed so we have seen the seal unseal in the previous session right and if i go to the vault ui right if i refresh it's asking me to the sign into the vault what is a method token username lap octa jwt oidc radius and github right so these are the authentication methods to enter inside the vault so i have a vault secret as well sorry vault token so this is a my root token if i copy enter this is a root token because means i am admin so i logged in as a with a root token so this is the what the called i am login with the this particular token so along with the token not only these options but you can log in with the all this these authentication methods are three types one is a generic second is a cloud based third one is a infra related so alibaba cloud aws azure cloud foundry gcp all and oracle etc all are ocp all are from the oracle cloud and rest of the things are the generic also github key, key value pairs etc and infra based kubernetes oracle cloud and there are many and iam and all etc tls etc these are infra based right and if you uh, go to the vault ui and you will be able to see the one is a generic second is a cloud and third one is a infra right so and i will re login into the my vault server and go here under access you create a new method right here generic cloud and infra that's what the that's what the it's talking over here now next vault authentication flow let's say i will go to the vault server and sign out if i choose a github right means here github means it's asking me for the github token more options are showing okay leave it github token what is this github token let's say if i choose a github token and i enter something some token i enter when i sign in what it saying bad credentials it's showing means whenever you enable any of the authentication method from the previous screen then try to authenticate with the vault server means this way it will go to the actual provider and try to validate and if it is a correct credentials then it will accept to go inside the vault yeah so here the first step is a client is making a request to vault by using whatever the authentication method then vault will go to the actual provider and verify whether it's correct or not then it will return the token back to the client yes 
that's what the it happens now vault point of view the authentication point of view so you go to the vault server here token or you choose anything and you wanted to log in what are the steps first you need to enable say if i wanted to use github or jwt or username password i wanted to use means first step is you have to enable say let's take example is username password i wanted to enable username password first enable means enable in the back end second is write you need to feed the credential means here username let's say gvr and password is 1 2 3 4 5 if system want to accept i need to write third one is a login yes of course you will login here and click on a sign in fourth one is disable if you wanted to disable it that's a simple procedure so enable write and login and disable these are the four and you can make use of this username password or ldap any kind of an authentication method for a certain period of time say gvr and 1 2 3 4 5 is a password this password you can configure for a one year or six months like a lease so whenever i go and enable my authentication the, you will get a lease id so that lease id you can manually expire force expire also you can do but the point is you can make use of a, its lease functionality as simple as that now vault authentication method point of view token say so here in the previous session we have seen about the vault seal and unseal and token so by default is a token method and if you go to the um, the last session we have seen the keys right so and the root token so this is a my root token and copy enter so this is a my root token so this is the what the root token but if i wanted to make use of a other tokens how do i do by using this is the one so these are the commands first you need to enable vault authentication enable and token vault token create vault login with the token vault auth disable so as simple as that so and how we will see so i am my vault server is this provisioned by using a vagrant which is github page is available here this is a vault server i will give this description uh, this link in the description and i have a vault status which is let me clear so right vault status right so it's a sealed equal to false right if i wanted to log in so this is a, uh, so first i need to copy the root token this is a root token right and copy this right so i'll come to the my ui and vault login and enter and it will ask for the token so i am entering the this token just now i copied right i will recopy go to the command prompt and enter and i was able to log in so means my by default authentication uh, let me log out here and right by default authentication is a token but but this token is a root token but if you wanted to create another token yes you can create right how first is we need to enable the authentication which is a token but before enabling we need to know whether it's enabled or not right so the first command is vault auth list this command will tell you how many types of authentications are enabled which is by default token authentication is enabled means whenever i created a vault cluster very first time the token authentication will enable nothing else right that's what the it's seeing say if i wanted to create a new token vault token create then vault token create that means it will create a new token which is ends with the gtu right if i copy this and go here right um, and 
this is gtu so this is a command so if i paste and then i am able to log in right so that's what the the token but when i sign out and i can log in with the my root token as well right this is a my root token i copied my root token go here and paste it right i am able to log in so these two token this token and as well as the my root token which is ends with the myyp both are working right so now vault token right and you can revoke as well right so if you so vault token yeah sorry i have to paste the the token which i wanted to revoke so this is the token i wanted to revoke right so what the vault will do is it will revoke if exists that's what the it does but if i if i copy this and go here and i try to log in with the same and it will fail authentication fail permission denied why because i have revoked and when i try to vault login then to hyphen token equal to this token sorry sorry vault login token equal to right so error while authentication the permission is denied why because this token is already revoked but if you log in with the root token it will work so let me show you that my root token is myop right so right i am able to log in right so now so vault status right so that's the first one so these are the commands so far we have tried yeah one thing to note down here is what vault path help auth slash token so what exactly it is so if you go to the vault ui and say take the username password and if more options there is a mount path not only username password take github also there is a it is hidden also mount path radius also mount path ydc and also mount path and jwt also mount path and octa mount path so basically here one thing we remember is one thing we notice this other than the token everything is asking the optional field which is called a mount path so what exactly it is means here vault path hyphen help so just just vault path help right auth slash token means right by default by default whenever you create a any authentication mechanism means username password ldap or any kind of authentication mechanism that will mount to a, a particular path in the vault cluster that path is like by default it will create in a auth slash token means vault auth list right so here if you go to the vault server and token enter the root token which is this one and go to the access and token right so if you look at here there is a path variable right so and configure you can see the various options are here but we are interested in the path so this path is called a mount path this mount path whenever you are creating a token by default vault will create under the auth slash token if i enter then it will show me a list of options what i have to pass with respect to the the path to which is a mount path since the token type of authentication which will mount into the auth slash token right so this is the what the help now next one is a user and password so out of the all the various authentication methods right uh just go back here and see out of various authentication method this is a username password 
now I will just log out right it's a username password here right now so as by default we need to enable the username password so how to check that whether it's enabled so vault auth list this is a command only token is enabled so now we need to enable so vault right auth enable username password user pass right if you wanted to know exact command go to the vault documentation and uh, uh, here uh, vault project.io right so vault project.io under that commands cli commands and auth right auth and these are the commands here so right so so vault auth enable so under that vault auth enable then user pass so if you go to the enable here then you need to pass the user pass so this is the order and as soon as you enter it successfully enabled in my vault server how to check that vault auth list so that means username password is enabled but uh, that that's good i am happy but this username password in order to log in right i have to key in how to key in i need to write into it how to write that vault right 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 so by default vault will mount the username password into the auth user pass slash users slash what is the username i wanted to create gvr is a user right and what is the value i wanted to put password equal to one two three four five and when i enter it successfully written the data and how to validate that i will log into the my uh, vault server by using a root token this token is not required this is a root token right and access under authentication methods there is a new authentication method got added which is called a user pass whereas you can go and disable it we have enabled in the previous step right and token there is no disable or delete so under the user pass user pass users under that gvr is the user these are the gvr specific settings and all these things if you go to the edit user the username is gvr and the password we have given a one two three four five and that's what the this command we have entered right now we have to read it right how to read that so vault auth list yes of course user pass is enabled so vault read auth user pass users gvr when i enter here this is the what the details of the same thing which we have seen right uh, under the these settings are showing as a whenever you say world read as this setting same as this one right now now how do i check this world username password so i will just sign out here and take a username and here username as a gvr and password is a one two three four five and when i enter i am able to log in right but see this is what the one two three four five i entered and when i go to the access i can't see anything i can see only lee's id only of lee's id of the the guy this guy right and from here the ui and you have various options copy token and renew token etc right now you sign out here right and go to the ui right here i wanted to log in right how to log in vault login right and login method equal to what is the method user password right which is same as a, this is a type right and username equal to gvr space password equal to 12345 that's what the i created during the this particular so now the command which i mentioned here now when i enter here automatically what happened is it's created a token how means vault storage 
which won't store as a username is this password as a 1235 vault will store as a in the form of a token and with the token these are the policies are etc applied and by default it's applied as a 768 hours which is divided by 24 there will be a some number of days right and uh, these are the commands and if you wanted to disable you can disable vault auth disable user pass and as usual and if you wanted to know the help of it what vault path help auth slash user pass so vault path help instead of token user pass so that you will be able to see all the details and once we enter into the further step we will understand all these options for now authentication method point of view this is the one and the third one is authentication method point of view github so github point of view is a simple first you need to enable <coughs> vault auth enable github so as simple as that so vault auth list oops oh sorry i need to log in as a root user then only it will work so what is my root password this is the what the my root password now i i logged in as a root user clear vault auth list as a root user i can see this one now i have to enable the vault auth enable github now successfully enable the github authentication how do i verify vault sorry vault auth list so github token is enabled so that means whatever the this particular microsoft so i'll go to the here and i will uh, login as a my root user uh, where is a my root user token this is the one just give me a sec right go here and i logged in as a root user under access you will see the there is a new one which is created called a github and what is the path it's mounted slash github github slash under that and if you go here there are uh, all the method options are etc various settings you can set right so this is the what the and if you wanted to know more about this particular thing then you can go to the configuration sorry authentication methods and under that github right so when you do the github then all these things so now first important thing is github point of view you need to write the github organization name right so so i have a my github page is this one right and go here and go to the organizations right and there is organization called it's a learn with gvr which i created a new organization under that in the organization there are teams and under that i created a dev team and under the dev team i have added me as a gvr as a member of course i by default i am a member of my organization right so now i am a member now so what in order to uh, work in our work the authentication method you need to enable the first organization name otherwise it's not going to work how vault right auth slash github slash config so the key point is a configuration so here vault right so for username password point of view we have created like this right the same way vault right right git auth slash type of that which is a github slash under that config so always whenever you are configuring this is the what the path slash config and what is organization name is learn with gvr right so organization it's a z or z yeah it's a z so organization equal to right and paste not not this sorry go to the github page and this is organization name and then i create it now it's written successfully the organization name how do i verify vault read auth so this is a path 
right so organization is enabled now how to know auth slash github slash config whereas for authentication token user pass user slash gvr this is a little bit complicated and can't remember all the things right so the simplest and easiest logic is go to the vault documentation and open the api this is the api what we are checking currently authentication methods under that we are checking what username password right username password if you wanted to post this is the one and right? if you wanted to read right vault dot read of this path colon username if you give it will return right and now we are checking on the github right github point of view where auth github config so here it will tell you the exact path or else go to the authentication methods here so this is in the api right or else under the docs github where is the github <coughs> yeah github oops i am in a github already yeah so this is a github right so this paths and all you can refer the api and also you can refer here so that you will understand where exactly so now now i have added organization world point of view right now i have to log in so how to uh, log in so i will go to the github right so go to the my github page and go to the my settings and under the developer settings under personal access tokens i have already generated two token i will generate a new token which i have to enter the my password of github then after that i will select the some permission and i will give a personal access token say vault demo i'll just skip the demo and let it expire after the seven days and i just simple permissions are enough and then i'll create generate so now what happened is this particular token got generated so when i take this token and go to the vault ui and go to uh, yeah and by the way if you go to the methods and go to the github and configure you will see the learn with gvr is already added why because i have key in over here right right i have written and i read from here right this is the word so this what is the learn with gvr organization id this is double nine zero six double two three zero which is this guy so and various other options if you configure you will be able to see but for now so we are only focusing on the authentication right so now go back here sign out right and go select the github right? and just paste sorry paste my token is here this is what the now i copied just delete that and i paste it and when i sign in i will be able to log in i'll go to the access i won't be able to see anything why because i don't have any other access right so this is the what the now how do i log in by using the command line so for that right vault login right and right hyphen method equal to github and if you don't know the command go to the documentation here right here the the method github token equal to my token so here token equal to sorry token equal to right and that's whatever the token which is i generated here right so token right and when i as soon as when i enter here so vault will go to the actual github and verify whether this particular token is correct or not then accordingly it will authenticate against it since my depend on the internet speed so it will go and verify and return me this is the one so and what is the meta username this is the my ramana gali so this username i have not entered and if you go to the vault you are here and it's click here so learn with gvr slash my username is given how it's fetch the username because its username is fetched from the actual 
the system so that's how uh, it works about the and if you wanted to know all these options vault path help auth slash github so this is the word the command which help you so vault path help auth slash is instead of username password you can put github this is the word the commands so and if you wanted to add a team for example right uh, so here under the github right uh, say i will put this here right and so my this is the my github page and go here and under the organizations learn with gvr and under the teams right say if i create a new team called support team right and parent team there is no parent team and just simply just create support right and i want in the support team member somebody else is there not me somebody else in that case how to add that so you need to use a map slash teams so how to write that is it command is there yeah here is there add slash github slash map team slash dev so means like this before writing i need to login as a root user so this is the amount of my root user now vault write write auth sorry auth github map and after that teams slash support so if you look at here map slash teams that's what the this particular path is helping us right so if i wanted to add a teams right so here map teams support right now value so what is this value is basically you are adding a team but for the team what kind of a policy authorization policy you want to add it for now i wanted to give a default so now successfully written the support team say i wanted to add a dev team right say dev team for i wanted to add a dev policy because developer need a some other policies right say i wanted to add a uat team right uat so uat uh, so something like that you can add as many as number of and how to see that vault read and teams under that how many teams dev support uat keys these are the keys are available and teams slash dev it will show and support it will show because the, this this key values i have added right and under that uat it will show so in this way you will be able to read the various rights and disable as well right now the next section is authentication methods of aws so if you go to the world ui and uh, just sign out from this particular ui now i am in this guy right so sign out here and go to the root user and copy the root user token right then just paste it and go to the access authentication methods aws this is a cloud generic one there are many you can try so and aws point of view yes path is aws but you can change as like you want and first you need to enable right of course aws point out when but aws point of view two different ways of authentication methods number one is iam based means let's say there is a one aws resource right and that resource wanted to access the vault system this resource could be anything not ec2 instance anything so first of all this resource what we will do is we will do the get caller identity then after that we will receive the credentials that credentials will sent to the vault and vault will connect to aws and verify this credentials are correct this is purely based on the iam second is ec2 based let's say one ec2 instance wanted to connect to vault and read some password 
let's say so this ec2 instance will have a iam role attached right then this ec2 instance with the metadata it will get a information and connect to the vault server that vault server will go and verify from the aws and once it is confirmed and vault will return a secrets that's how aws authentication will, will will work and how it will be vault authentication enable aws as like a same previous one and you need to write and there are various ways so if you wanted to write by using a client vault write auth aws config client and if you go to the um, basically authentication methods and select aws so these are the uh, these are the api documents and if you go to the normal uh, world project dot docs aws right and iam authentication method point of view uh, an example is also given just when you scroll down here uh, there are a detailed example here world auth enable aws so this is a command you need to right yeah yeah of course the same command i put it here right so right so vault auth enable yes it's enable vault auth list right so now aws gc these are the all the authentication methods i have enabled so far right so if you wanted to easy user friendly understanding better you go to the ui and explore see here aws added so but from the cli this is the how i am adding but if you wanted to add from the ui it will be much more easy but as the we devops engineer we mostly use a basically this is a cli and for the cli point of definitely you need to go to the documentation and what documentation is say if i wanted to write a secret key right just copy here right uh, these are the dummy username password right you see here here aws client point of view i can directly pass them my secret key and as well as access key so that it will write that's a number one and second is based on the role as well so there is another method which is given here right so just copy here right and though this is a one method i am not entering right so here just observe here one is a client authentication aws config client and secret key access key and dev role point of view you have created one role in the aws side and that role is the ec2 machine is accessing from this particular ami and you have created the policies in the world server that's how also you can write so as a clear documentation and if you wanted to log in this is the way you can log in from the system instance so currently i don't have any such a setup here so but the idea is this is the one and you can disable and this is the command you can vault path help auth slash aws so here vault path help auth slash aws right so this is how you can if you wanted to configure sts yes you can configure with this particular path so need not to worry need not to remember all this you can just open the documentation or this is the way you can just verify and leverage the this thing right yeah and the last topic is basically a differentiate versus human versus system we have seen these are the authentication method right so tokens who will use the tokens only admins root users whoever is the super powers right uh, those admins only will use right this is a token method which is by default but what about the github only developer will use ldap users or service account app role this is the first one is for the machines or application kubernetes who will use not a human pods something like that they use means applications and aws azure gcp for apps as well so and java web token for apps will use or apps or apressed apis multi factor authentication surely users will use because of the otp etc so this is the way uh, you can differentiate between the human and system so what authentication method is required for a what system that's what the you need to define that's what the in fact differentiate human versus authentication methods is mentioned and describe the authentication method next topic is choose an authentication method for 
on use case this is especially for the approval pull authentication this is the approval pull authentication so if you look at here approval for the machines or apps that's what the based on the use case yeah that's it for this particular session point of view thank you for listening i know this is a longer video but thank you for your patience and let me know what you guys think on this particular session bye bye